Man, don't give me a hard time. Guys, we're over here. <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody, guys. Everybody at the show, guys. Let me tell you something. I, I am a fan of Power Play. I have seen this brand, and I did a video on another boat that they had at a show. Tommy, so I, I, I love, I love this boat, man. Um, same 30 footer that we kind of did our video on. Let's go over here. Let's get out of yes, the sir. sun, see if we can stay away from the sun. Uh, uh, first of all, let me just show how beautiful this boat is. Let me, you, you, let me take off my shoes or am I good? We're good? All right, guys. So we're boarding the Power Play 30 and we're on. Welcome aboard, people. Welcome aboard. Let me tell you something. I just walked on and I felt like I just walked on on a 55 foot boat because of how sexy this boat is. Like, you guys are making this thing look super, super nice. So let's let's start at the bow, Tommy, and okay. you can tell me a little bit so these people know. I, I want them to kind of like get an idea of how modular these boats are because okay. one of the things that fascinated me last time is how well thought this was. And maybe you can give a little bit of background on you and your company and what you guys have in mind. Um, the bow seat, uh, we tried to make it a little more comfortable than the standard fishing boat seat. But at the same time, we actually made it removable. So it weighs about 85 pounds. Two guys can easily pick it up. Thumb screw right there, thumb screw on the other side. So and this a quick this, disconnect for the ram. So this whole section is open if you want it to be. Yes, sir. You want to go sail fishing and fish to the bow of the boat? We can do that. Oh my god, that right there. I mean. Now screw them on, pretty sturdy, you're good. I mean, we're oh so it has some huge hinges. Alright, I see what we got going on well, here. This is designed oh. to be able to have a forward-facing backrest if you want. Oh. And I tried to bury it in the Coming, so it kind of disappeared a little bit and it wasn't so bulky as everybody else was doing. Which it did. We did the two gas fills way up in the front of the boat. And the reason we did that was we eliminated the little pillars and columns that come down from the side of the boat. So we got rid of the gutters, made the boat a little easier to clean, and nothing for you to kick. In the front of the console seat, we've added a piece for like an electric lazy boy type of system. So the girls or the guys you can have a little more calf support, it makes the seat a lot more comfortable and without them. I like that, just a push of a button, you're good. That's it. Um, I do like this shade right here, especially at this extra hot show, guys. Look at this. It is crazy hot. It is crazy hot, guys. This year's show has a been... over, right at six feet of headroom. We can do a vanity, we can do a sink, we can do a shower. All the rigging is literally right there. All right. And we label everything. There we go. Let me get let me yep. get in there. I want them to see all this. Very nice. Good work, guys. Look at that wiring. Great job. You got a nice little sink here ahead. And, uh, you know, they Access can... Access the batteries. It's pretty simple. So you don't take the head out to get to them. You let me tell you... One battery you, at you, time and out they come. You guys are maximizing space like... No tomorrow. Try what, what? What? Uh, you said a little bit over six feet in here. Yeah, right at just like six feet and a half an inch. Nice. And then around the locks up sturdy. When doors closed. Gets closed. This has garbage can on the side. Was this on the other model before? No. It wasn't. No. So that's something that you guys have recently added. Yes, sir. A little bit bigger glove box, and what we were allowed to do now is we put the battery switches inside the glove box. Okay, so now nice. I can go over here and actually start to stop the motors without All right. touching the key. Oh, nice! End of the day, turn them off, and you you don't even have to worry about it. Don't have to go on the console. Don't have to go anywhere. Kill the battery switches and get right. off the boat. Boom. So what are Dash some of the options? Uh, electronics, you know, it's hard to quote electronics on a boat sale because some people might want 3000 some people might want 30000 Okay. So we try to give them an option to say, here's the basic boat, what would you like to do for electronics? Now, is is this, this is a hard, no, this is not nope. a hard title option. It's is laceless, um, laceless top. The customer did not want to spend the extra dollars for fiberglass, which can be anywhere from five to $10,000 more money. Um, and he wanted to be a little bit lighter. So we did a laceless top, no strings around the edge. It's all stretched. And uh, as you can see, it's 
looks pretty tight. Yeah, it definitely looks. And, and a piece and, of and accent it, wood here. And I almost thought it was a hard top. Yeah, it I mean, like it, it does. It really does. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Accent piece here. Well, that was not on the last boat. This is beautiful. Thank you. I mean, I'll tell you right now, this is what caught my attention. This is why I said I feel like I'm on a 55 footer. Somebody wants to spend millions of dollars. This you was on the last boat. Same, same type of cooler. But we don't run the cooler on the floor. We run it on supports. So it never wants to wear out the floor. Uh, last boat also, we do cockpit steps that fold. Did this at midnight, so we just modified them in a little bit smaller. Obviously, nice little stepper. That's it. Storage under the seats. And these are also modular. You can go yes, ahead and move Two those. Seats, they come right out. They, they weigh 38 pounds. 38 pounds, guys. One of my favorite parts of the boat is we made a dry bilge. After all my years of fighting bilges trying to keep them clean, we made one that's actually crystal clean. It's fiberglass finished. It's easily to wash. And then we come up with an idea to put a sump in the very back. So now the water that's in the bilge ends up in the sump and not on the deck. The deck stays dry and clean. Nice. What are, what are we looking at top speed with these? What is it? What the four hundreds, depending on how it's loaded, sixty eight to seventy two miles an hour. Sixty eight to seventy two miles an yes, hour. Sir. What about cruise? What are you most efficient at cruise wise? Most efficient be 30, 32 miles an hour, and we're getting about well between one point six and one point eight miles a gallon. All right. So if you want to bump it up to forty, you're probably going to go to one and a half, one point six. All right. So if they wanted to get a little bit more information, Tommy, if they wanted to. You know, get a little bit more information on the brand and yes, all sir. the good stuff that you guys have. Where can they go online to check it out? Uh, PowerplayPowerBoats.com Guys, these guys are doing it so sexy. I mean, I hope this video translates how cool this boat looks, guys. Take a look at them, the people at Powerplay. Tommy, hey, beast of a boat, man. Congrats. Thank you, sir. You're going to do very well. I hope so. Thank you.